Have you ever wanted or needed to record your Android phone or device on your computer and use it on your computer? Maybe you needed to be able to text someone or needed to record something you were doing on your phone while using your computer? Well, I'm going to show you just how to do that with a simple and excellent app called Screen Copy. So stick around. Howdy folks, I am Jay and this is my channel DS Tech Media and today we are going to be looking at a simple but powerful little tool called Screen Copy or S-C-R-C-P-Y. It's available for just about everything including Mac OS, Windows, and Linux and it will allow you to put your phone or any Android device up on screen as, as long as it's I believe Android 5 or later here is the github page uh, it's genie mobile slash screen copy and genie mobile is known for a variety of Android emulation and Android as a service virtual machine platform they have lots of paid services and technologies pertaining to Android mostly targeted at developers and it's used by Spotify Facebook Microsoft Evernote Twitter eBay Samsung LinkedIn and Yelp so this software comes from a very professional team and it is available free and open source right here on github it focuses on lightness performance quality low latency low startup time non-intrusiveness you need an android device that's at least api 20 or android 5.0 or later and you need to have adb debugging enabled on your device on some devices you're also going to need an additional option control it using the keyboard and mouse speaking of adb debugging let's go ahead and take a look at that so to enable adb Debugging on your device, uh, you simply need to go to settings, about phone, and go to the build number and tap that repeatedly seven times. It'll say something like, you're now a developer. And then when you return to the previous screen, you'll find developer options and you can now connect your device with USB. It's also uh, possible to enable it to connect over Wi-Fi. Uh, that's especially helpful if you're needing to use like a Android watch in this situation, which you'll be doing uh, setting up a TCP IP port and getting an address. All right, so here in get the app, if you're on Debian testing or SID or Ubuntu 2004, you can just sudo apt install SCR CPY. They also offer it in a snap package. A copper package is available for Fedora. Well, there's an AUR package on Arch. E-build for Gentoo, and you can build it manually. It's not even that hard. Over here, <laughs> they have the packaging status for so many package formats for Linux, even free BSDs here. There is a Windows install available, and they offer that as a zip or via chocolatey, and also via scoop and of course mac or homebrew etc and so forth so i have the uh, snap version installed there it is there uh, version 1.0 16 and to get that all we would need to do is snap find scrcpy and once that's installed, all you really need to do is enable the debugging as mentioned earlier. And we're just gonna go ahead and run a CRCPY. You may have end up getting a confirmation that says allow USB debugging. And I'm just gonna go ahead and allow. And voila. I am now able to control my phone on the screen and it also allows for uh, portrait mode. It will change uh, portraits dynamically. 
having some issues with mine because I have a rather faulty USB-C wire. And you can scale everything uh, up or down. It works with your mouse and keyboard. And it also responds to uh, actual touches. The uh, mouse wheel works as you would expect it to. You can even change all these uh, little fine tunings such as you can limit the frame rate, you can crop your frame and set max size, you can lock your video orientation into portrait or landscape. It'll even record the capturing and it can even record without mirroring your display. And I'll go ahead and also show you the wireless. So in order to use the wireless, you're going to need to enable ADB over TCP IP on your device, unplug the device, connect your device via ADB, connect your device's IP address and port 555, and then you run screen copy as usual. If you have performance issues, you can limit the bit rate and resolution this way. You can even uh, set it up to auto start. Okay, so let's do ADB TCP IP 555 ADB connect And there we are. We now have it running with no wire. And the latency is actually very, very good. Now, one last trick. You could technically run your audio out to your computer. In my case, uh, I'd have to be using the wireless connection because my phone does not have an audio port and I'd need my USB-C port to run the audio wire into my computer. But there is another tool called Sound Copy, S-N-D-C-P-Y, and you can get that from Romain Vimont rom 1v slash sncpy also on github i'll put this in the description as well this has some higher uh requirements the android device needs to be at least android 10 uh, that's going to leave a lot of people out i realize and you're also going to need a vlc to be installed on the computer then you simply then need to download the zip this one here will also work with windows and it also contains adb with it and alternatively you can build it plug an android 10 device with usb debugging enabled and execute dot slash sound copy and then apparently it'll give you this dialogue and you'll have to enable it vlc may print an error but you can just ignore that and if you want to uninstall this from the device they also give you an option to do that uh, it says here it's a proof of concept so it's far from perfect and it may have some jitter and VLC may have some buffering. And he also leaves this blog post for his blog. And anyways, that's what I got for you. If you got any uh, problems, have any questions, you can always leave me a comment down below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. I do lots of content like this, mostly about Linux and open source, but also tech and gaming and everything, tech in general. And I am a regular uploader. Sometimes I might disappear for a couple weeks, but I usually come back with something uh, extra special. I just finished a rather large project and haven't really had much time to play with uh, my new Google Pixel XL 4. And I, I definitely want to do some more content about Android and the Pixel. So look for that if you're an Android user. And I appreciate you watching. Until next time, signing out, and I'll see you in the next one.